Today, we are on Black Ops 1. We are testing to see if we can pack a punch every single gun in Black Ops 1 zombies without going down. No quick revive, because if you guys watch my channel, you guys watch my zombie videos, you know I'm a fan of doing everything flawlessly. Ascension and Kino Dertoten actually share most of the same guns, except the MP40 is only available on Kino, so we had to go with Kino, but I would much rather play Ascension. I will show you on the screen right now every single gun we need to pack a punch. So Kino is going to be the hardest, but once we get through Kino, we only need to upgrade one weapon on three maps. But that's enough talking. That's enough introduction. Let's just get into this. Take two. Kind of forgot we're not on Black Ops 3. Three hit down. We're going to buy the M14. M14 is definitely better than the Olympia. M14 gang rise up, Olympia gang, who even exists? We are going to actually have to hold on to this M1911 because that is one of the guns we have to pack a punch. All right, there we go. We found the box, which is obviously essential for this. I guess we can just link the pad right now. First thing I want to buy is a jug, and I guess I'll just pack a punch these two guns I have. And thankfully, Kino is pretty easy for pack a punching. We don't got to do a whole lot. We just need to survive and make money. There we go. We just got enough for jug. That's going to be good while we're rocking the M14. We're almost out of ammo on this M14. We can buy this off the wall again for 500 points. I'm going to spin the box and hopefully get something really good off the start. would be awesome. Mm. Well, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. I mean, we do have to pack a bunch of everything at one point, but I, I need a gun that'll get me there first. And this clearly is not it. So second spin, G11. We'll take that. We're not going to be taking nukes because we need as many points as possible. Double points is great for us on this challenge. We've already got enough to pack a punch once, but we're going to try to pack a punch twice. All right, we're on we're on low ammo on everything. We've got 11,000 points. Seems like a good time to get our first two guns pack a punch, doing the G11 and the M1911. And there we go. Honestly, I'm just going to get rid of these things as soon as possible because no PhD on this map. I don't feel like taking any chances. Oh god. Oh no. All right, let's just hit the box right now, get rid of these things. Hopefully, we can get some good thunder gun, ray gun, maybe? Aug, I mean, we got to pack a punch it, so whatever. We've got a lot of guns to pack a punch. I just did the count. If I counted correctly, there's 32. <laughs> so we've got two out of 32. This may be harder than I expected. All right, let's hit the box. Let's see what we can get. We're going to trade out our pack punch gun. The CZ-75 dual wield. That's fine. I don't really need to keep that pack punch gun on round 11. I'm just trying to do this as efficiently as possible. I hate to spend money on something that's not pack a punch, but I feel like buying speed cola is definitely a good idea. All right, end of round 14. We've got two guns to pack a punch with enough points. Let's throw the AUG in there. And we're going to throw the CZ-75 dual wield in there. There we go. We are now at four out of 32. Man, this is definitely harder than I thought it would be. Man, why did I keep sending me to these creepy rooms? Now, my memory is a bit foggy for some reason, but I believe that Mule Kick is on this... Yeah, it is. It's right uh, over in the staircase over there. That may be worth getting, so then we can just be even more efficient. But that's 4,000 points. That's almost enough to pack a punch right there. Ooh, that was risky. I don't know why I decided that was the best way to train, but I can't be doing that. <laughs> Insta-kill, thank you end of round 16 i want to just keep hitting the box because if we can get the thunder gun really early on you know it's basically a get out of jail free card the china lake i mean we've got to pack a punch it eventually right oh let's just keep take it how good is this shotgun i've never used this i don't pack a punch most of these guns to be honest with you so this will be kind of cool for me too but like when this first popped up i was i was like oh yeah i forgot this has a shotgun attachment I'm just going to pack a punch this China Lake now because I just want to get rid of this thing ASAP. So let's just get this one done with. China Lake thrown in to the China the China Beach. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Wow. I thought like maybe it would be fully automatic or something. Wow. Wow, that is horrendously bad. We're, we're getting rid of that immediately. Another scary room. I can't take it anymore, guys. Pack-a-punching at the beginning of a round is a little bit sketchy because now I've got to run through the map. I figured going around was safer than going right up the middle. Let's hit this box real quick. Get rid of this stupid-ass China beach. Python. That's not the thunder gun. Ooh. A little sketchy moment there. 
All right, I'm being silly. At the beginning of a round, I'm going to buy Mule Kick. I figured it's probably worth it long term. Unless I go and die from buying it right here, but... <laughs> nope, looks like we're good. Let's hit the box. I feel like we're going to get the Thunder Gun this time, and then I feel really good about this run. That is definitely not the Thunder Gun. Come on, Thunder Gun. I need something that's going to help me in these higher rounds now. That's exactly what I'm looking for, to be honest. All right, round 20. We've got 7,500 points, basically. I'm going to get enough to pack punch three times and trade out this AUG. So we need like 15,000 points before we hit pack a punch again. End of round 21, we've got 14,000 points. So I'm going to trade out this AUG, hopefully get something good. And then mid round 22, we will be able to hit pack a punch three times. HK21, not too bad. See, we got a fire sale, but that doesn't really do a whole lot for us because I have three guns I need to pack a punch right now, but... That would be great at a different time. All right, end of round 22. We got ourselves a bunch of points. Time to pack a bunch of three guns. And then I'm probably going to keep the commando and then trade out the HK-21 and the python. I hope I have time to pack a punch all of these. HK-21. Python. Commando. I'd hate to lose this one. I probably should have done this one first. There we go. There's three, and we've still got 10,000 points. See, I kind of want to keep the HK-21 just because it has a lot of ammo, but it's also kind of low damage and slow. And uh, I don't know. The, the, the ammo count is really nice. Dude, they put me in a scary room every time. We're going to go hit the box, though. I'd love to get the Thunder Gun. I'd love to get the Ray Gun. Did you hear that little box? Did you hear it? All right, well, take two. Maybe we'll get it here. I'll trade out the H-115 Oscillator. I definitely didn't want these two guns, but I guess let's just get them out of the way. We've almost got 10,000 points already, so... You know, now that I remember it, the crossbow would also be really cool to have because that has, like, a monkey bomb effect, so... If we can get that again, because I'm pretty sure I got that early on and then traded it away. Ooh, that's a double point, so we love double points on this challenge. We are going to make some money here. All right, we're pack-a-punching these two snipers. I just want to get rid of them. They're not doing me any favors, so... L96A1... The L115 Oscillator and the Dragonov to the D115 Disassembler. Let's see. Is it disassembling? It is. That's pretty cool. Okay, no creepy room this time. Can I make it? Nope, definitely not. I'm gonna go the long way. All right, let's get rid of these snipers. Come on. FN Foul, not too bad. And get rid of this one. I don't know how many zombies I got coming up here. I'm kind of scared. We've had this. We have got our first duplicate. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, let's go. Oh, we're good. Ah, oh, we're good. We are good. No need to trip. All right. We've got a commando. We've got a thunder gun. This foul should be decent. Um, If I'm counting correctly while I'm playing, I'm at 10 out of 32. We've got 22 guns to pack a punch. Now, I'm trying to get all the box weapons done first, then just grab all the wall weapons when we have a lot of points, but uh, it's round 25, about to be, and we're not even halfway. The only thing I'm worried about is I'm trying to think in my head, how long is this going to take? Because I'm on round 25, and I'm not halfway there. So, like, what is this? It's definitely going past round 30, but I've done road to round 30 flawlessly on this before. Is it going to go into the 40s? Can it reach 50? That's... I don't know. With the Thunder Gun, I feel good. But still, you know, the flawless aspect of this challenge definitely makes me a little nervous. If I if I allowed myself to get Quick Revive, I wouldn't be nervous at all. But flawless is always a little bit harder. We've got exactly 10,000. I'm going to I'm gonna use the Teleporter just because I want this Thunder Gun upgraded. And, uh, you know, why not use it? Thunder Gun is now the Zeus Cannon. And the FNFAL is the Epic Win. That's pretty cool. Oh, and it's fully automatic. Interesting. I guess we'll take it. Let's spin it. Let's get the ray gun real quick. That'd be pretty cool. G11. We already did that one. I'm not going to stay around and hit all these boxes. I will definitely die. It's the middle of the round. Ah, let's do it. Let's do it. We need to pack a punch it. Whatever. No, don't get me wrong. I'd rather have the FNFAL, but 
It's the name of the game here. Biggest thing I got to remember to myself is never train with a gun that's not the Thunder Gun. I'm going to be holding this out the entire time. I'm thinking to myself, I think we've got to get rid of the Commando. I mean, it's not a better saving grace than the Thunder Gun. And I just want to be as efficient as possible. And after one round of use, it's almost halfway gone on ammo. If we're just constantly rotating out weapons, we don't really have to worry about ammo. And uh, it's sad to, sad to do it, but, you know, we, we got to say bye to the commando. Spaz 12. The Spaz 12 is not any good. I just basically wiped out its entire ammo just ending the round. And the only <laughs> a CZ 75 with no ammo. Okay. We are out of ammo on absolutely everything except this Thunder Gun. So I'm thinking I just get a really good train going, use it once or twice. That'll give us 10,000, and then we can go and pack a bunch of these two guns I have. Okay, that gives us significantly less money than I expected it to. Um, I don't know what to do. Yeah, no, that's not giving me nearly as much money as I want. I might just have to... Go and pack a punch one of them, because I don't want to be wasting all this Thunder Gun ammo. There we go, we just got 10,000. At the end of the round, we're going to go get two more pack a punch guns here. Spaz 12, the Spaz 24, and the CZ 75 becomes the Calamity. I think we've only got a few wall weapons left. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember which ones are and which ones aren't. Like, that gun over there, that's a stakeout. So that means the HS-10 is in the box. But, uh, yeah, I think we've only got a few wall weapons left. Or box weapons, I mean. All right, we got a fire sale. Let's hit it. Let's get some new guns to pack a punch. We had this one. That's not helpful for us. We've also had this one. Can I hit it one more time? Uh, we did not have this one. I'm not excited to have it, but it's new. All right, let me go get one more wall weapon or box weapon. I keep mixing those up. And then we can go hit pack punch. We've got nearly 20,000. And uh, that's not helping us either. Let, let me check my list of weapons. I'm sure there's at least one more. Yeah, we need the ray gun. I know that off the top of my head. We need the ray gun. Uh, the Galil is another one we need. I know there's at least three or four box weapons we need, so I'm not wasting my time here. Uh, there's the Galil, just like that. Perfect. So let's throw this Galil in here. And the M72 Law. And the M72 Anarchy. Does this do anything cool? Nope, not fully automatic. Nothing cool. Either way, that's two more down. Okay, so I'm looking at the list. Looks like we need the Ballistic Knife Crossbow, FAMAS HS-10, the Raygun RPK. And I think that's it. I think everything else is a wall weapon. I'm not exactly sure, but... Here's another scary room. Yo, isn't this from the Black Ops 2 Origins Easter egg cutscene? Either way. But with this, we are at 16 out of 32. We are officially halfway done with this challenge. I'm going to get rid of... Oh, there's the PM63. That is something we need to do. FNFAL, we have that. I need... What do I need? I need the ray gun. I need the RPK. I need something. Not the China Lake. We've had the China Beach. CZ-75, we just had that. This is where we're going to get a lot of duplicates when there's only like three or four left. And we've had this. I'm going to waste all my money just hitting the box. Monkey Bombs, that's actually pretty cool. M72 Law, we literally just had that. HS-10, that is new. We will take that. You know, while I've only got 2,000 points and a zombie, let's see if I could just pull another gun. RPK, Ray Gun, maybe. We've got two hits. Um, Spectre, is that a wall weapon? I don't think so. Let's hope not, because I took it. I don't think the Spectre's on the wall. Is it? I, I don't believe so. So we've got two two new guns here that are going to run out of ammo so, inc <laughs> so incredibly fast that maybe I shouldn't have done that. But uh, we're over halfway, and we're about to be on round 30. It's like the road to round 30. Round 30. If this was the road to round 30, we would be done, but uh, we are not. We're not even close to done. Dog round? I'm calling it. Nope. We have had a dog round in, it feels like, forever. Yeah, we're going to be out of ammo so incredibly fast here. If it could just get me to 5,000 across the two guns, we can at least pack a punch one of them. All right, well, we got 5,000, but we haven't had drops in forever either. I haven't had an insta-kill. I don't think I've gotten one max ammo that wasn't from a dog. We haven't had a double points in forever. Game's not really helping us out much. We've got 7,500. 
Now the question is, do I pack a punch one of them, or do I just use the Thunder Gun up until 10,000, do them both? Yeah, it's going to take a long time. We're going to go and pack a punch one of them. Um... Which one? Probably the Spectre, just because that'll get us more points in the in the interim, in the meanwhile. So throw the Spectre in here. Becomes the Phantom. Yeah, that ammo will literally run out in like maybe 30 seconds. We are officially over halfway with that, though. We're at 17 out of 32. It doesn't feel like there's that many guns left. Did I count right? Have I been just feeding you guys misinformation this entire time? No, I'm not lying. We've got 15 left. Um, most of them are wall weapons. We need the ballistic knife, crossbow, FAMAS, HS-10, which we have, M14, M16, MP40, MP5, MPL, Olympia, PM63, ray gun, RPK, and stakeout. So, no, the math checks out. It just feels like it's not that many. And it makes me feel like we are so far yet, so close. Over halfway, but it still seems so far. Yeah, just as I predicted, this thing ran out of ammo in approximately like 37 seconds. But it brought us up to 8,800. And the teleporter is able to be used again, so I just have to link it. Then I can get this HS-10 pack a punched. And then I can hit the box and get more weapons. So I think we're doing alright. Alright, I'm playing like an idiot. Let's hit the box. Playing like an idiot. Let's see. Let's see what happens. M72 law wasn't even worth it. Oh boy. Let's see. Just kidding. I'm a G. I got this. Don't worry about me. I can literally just shoot this if I have to and I'll be okay. So it is actually not that big of a deal. <laughs> so let's get out of here. Upgrade the HS10, which will get us just a little bit more money because we have ammo again. And it's time for two new weapons. Oh, I didn't know they became akimbo. What's it called? Typhoid. Typhoid and Mary. Whatever. So we need to hit the box. We need RPK and Ray Gun would be great, but I believe there's a few others. Yeah, we need the FAMAS. Um, HS-10 is done. Crossbow, Ballistic Knife. Yeah, like I said, I keep listing it over and over, but there's lots of things we need. Aug, we had that. We'll come back at the end of the round with a little bit more money and hopefully a little bit more luck and get some new weapons. Okay, I went to go hit the box. We had a lot more zombies than I expected, and we did it all for a teddy bear, so that's lovely. Well, the box is right here, which is closer to our training spot, which I appreciate. All right, that's our last zombie. We've got four box spins in us. If we could just get the ray gun or the RPK, something good. Crossbow. Um, we need ammo right now, but we also needed that to pack a punch, so that's good. RPK. Let's go. There's two new weapons right there, and two really good weapons, actually, because we get this upgraded, the, uh, the crossbow here. It's got a monkey bomb effect. They chase the arrow like it's a monkey bomb. That'll be really good. I might have to hang on to that one. And the RPK is just, you know, it's the RPK. Round 31, boys. It's got to be a dog round soon. Jack Hughes, shout out to the New Jersey Devils, your future Stanley Cup winners, if anyone's watching. Not the Devils. I mean, Devils fans, hockey fans in general. <laughs> the RPK is going to be great for getting us points once we got our horde piled up like this. Just spray right into it. That'll get us a lot of money. There's a fire sale. That's not really helpful for us right now. I'd like a max ammo, double points, insta-kill, death machine. That's a thing. I haven't gotten that once. Shout out to this RPK, bringing us to well over 10,000 points for Pack-A-Punch. All right, we used up all of the crossbow and RPK ammo. It's time to go hit Pack-A-Punch, and we've got more than enough money for it. RPK thrown in Pack-A-Punch. The R115 Resonator, and where is the crossbow? There it is. Crossbow thrown in, and we've still got 6,500 points. This becomes Awful Lawton, which I'm not going to shoot right now, but I'll show you guys later. And with that, boys, we are at 20 out of 32. We've got 12 more, and I think we've only got how many wall weapons left? Um, or box weapons, the Ballistic Knife, Famas, Ray Gun. So we've got three box weapons left. Then, it's just wall weapons, and that's easy, obviously, just needing points. Let's try out this crossbow. Where is that at? So we shoot it, and look at that. That's awesome. How much does it kill, though? Doesn't kill a lot, but it gets you off of them if you need, if you need that, you know? I swear to God, I just shot an arrow, and it just disappeared, but still a pretty cool gun. Yeah, how can you not like it? I mean, it could be stronger. If the explosion was stronger, this would be like S tier, but it's still pretty cool. Hey, we got the ballistic knife. 
don't get me wrong, I'm not keeping this thing for much long, but we needed that. Now if I could just pull the ray gun or the FAMAS, that would be lovely. Right now, I'm just gonna use the uh, teleporter, get the ballistic knife pack a punched right now. And uh, hopefully in the three box pulls I have enough money for, I can get the ray gun or something. But there we go, there's one more gun, or weapon I guess, the ballistic knife. There's two more box weapons, the ray gun and the FAMAS. Then it's all wall weapons. That's not it. Two hits, let's get it. Nope, that's not it. There it is. Okay. Ray gun. I'll trade out the RPK. Ray gun. It was worth a shot. This is actually working out perfectly because the last thing we need is the ray gun. Then we have the ray gun, RPK, and thunder gun. We use that to get... Um, I think there's 10 wall weapons, so 50,000 points plus the extra to buy the weapons. We use those weapons to get 60,000 points, and then all at once, we, uh, we just go and pack a punch all of the wall weapons. So, I think this is working out quite well. Oh my god, an insta-kill. I literally have not gotten one of these in at least 15 rounds. Oh, and a max ammo. Wow, I'm getting spoiled by the game. Oh my god, and the double points. It just, it, it's, it's all, it's all right here for us, boys. All right, I figured let's just throw the FAMAS in there now because I feel like it's going to be a while before we get this ray gun. But with that, we've got the G16 GL35. What a weird name. And now we just need the ray gun out of the box. Let's risk it. Let's hit this box one time for absolutely no reason because there's no shot we get the ray gun, but let's do it. See, I told you. End of round 32. We've got just shy of 14,000 points. We need to get this ray gun. No ray gun here. No ray gun here. I am blowing through points and I can't get this. I cannot get this ray gun. I've got one more shot left at it. How do you go through 14,000 points and not pull the ray gun? It's kind of crazy. No ray gun for us. It's making me think, should I like do the wall weapons and then save the ray gun for last? Nah, nah, nah. We're going to stick to it. All right, we got a dog round. I feel like it's been like 10 rounds without one, though. We've got one hit. One hit on this box. Right here. It's right here. All right. At the end of round 34, I've got 20,000 points. And if I don't get the ray gun with this, I'm just gonna, I don't know, be upset. Right here, first try. Did they not put the ray gun in the box? When, when I loaded up the game, did they just forget to put that one in? They put every gun in except that one? Python. Jeez. Oh my god, bro. Am I gonna go through 20,000 points and not get it? Is this gonna be the biggest obstacle of the challenge that the ray gun isn't here? No, I mean, technically, I don't need to get the ray gun because the ray gun's on all the other maps. I could just save it for a different map. I could do that. I could maybe get the ray gun when I play 5 or Moon or Shangri-La or Call of the Dead. I'm starting to question, is the, is the ray gun on this map? I, I know it is. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god, help me. Oh my god. Oh my god. This video is taking so long, I literally stopped to eat in the middle of it. Even if I get the ray gun with these last 5,000 points, I, I won't even have enough to pack a bunch of it. And I started with, what was it, 18, 19,000? Is something wrong here? Because I've never been so incredibly unlucky on the box. Can you not have the thunder gun and the ray gun at the same time? Can't, I'm going to look that up. I have an idea. Let's head over to my channel. Let's go back to when I was playing Black Ops 1 and when I played Kino Der Toten. There's the... I have the ray gun. Ray gun's in my hand. I switch to the H115 oscillator. 
And then for a split second in the corner, Zeus Cannon. It is possible. I'm just the unluckiest person to live, maybe? Couldn't even just not give it to me. I've got to, I've got to wait for the box, find it, and then get disappointed. Come on. I need this ray gun. Just give me the goddamn ray gun, please. I thought begging would maybe do it, but... And I'm out of ammo on everything except this thunder gun. So... Round 35. I can't believe this, bro. I really can't. I really can't believe this. I literally have to trade out for this M16 just so I can shoot and get ammo. I'm not going to kill a single zombie with this, but I just need money. And I just got to keep buying ammo over and over and over. I might as well just pack punch this thing as soon as I have enough. Might as well. Or actually, probably not because then ammo will be more expensive to buy and I should just keep this just to solely make money, not with the intent of killing them. Oh, let's go. I never thought that was going to happen, to be honest with you. Now we can use this and get some real money to uh, dump into the box and still not get the ray gun. That's hype. That got a little scary. Holy shit. Okay. I have just under 40,000 points. The M16 thing was a uh, money machine. 40,000 points. If I don't get it with 40,000 points. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Jump and shoot. Spin. Jump and shoot. Okay. All right, guys. I'm back. I just have to go take care of something. But uh, I think I have a really good idea on how to get the ray gun. Okay. I thought that was it. I really did. No, if you want me to be honest, I'm, I'm just going to start pack punching wall guns. I, it's, it's clearly just not going to happen for me. So, M16, MP5K, there's another two more. You know, maybe after spending some money at pack a punch, they'll be like, all right, you deserve the ray gun. Nope, doesn't look like it. Oh my god! Yo! Oh my god! Oh, I really didn't think it was going to happen. I really did not think it was going to happen. I... Oh, let's go, boys. Oh, we are so back. We are so incredibly back. Let's get our unlucky asses over to pack a punch. I picked up an Olympia along the way just so we can kill two birds with one stone. Why can I barely move? There we go. Throwing the ray gun in there. Oh my god. It took me till round 36. Throwing the Olympia in there. And the Hades. There's two more guns, boys. We have six more guns. Six more guns, and they're all wall weapons. I'm not going to say we have this in the bag, because it's round 36, but we need six more weapons. That's only 30,000 points we need to collect. Why does it always zoom my FOV out when I do that? Either way, six more guns. I'm thinking we're good. I'm not saying it's confirmed, but I'm, I'm thinking we're back, boys. I've never used the upgraded Olympia, but it looks so cool when you shoot it. Like, the pellet spread just goes infinitely through them. It's not killing many, but it's cool looking. All right, now, I know I was incredibly excited to get this ray gun, but, uh... It's not going to save us any better than the Thunder Gun will. So I'm, I'm trading it out for the MP40. And I'm going to trade out this Olympia for the M14 or the M16. Whichever one's in spawn. And then head back to Pack-A-Punch M14. Link the pad. And head back to Pack-A-Punch again. We're going to get two more here. MP40 thrown in. That becomes the Afterburner. And the M14. The Amnesia. That leaves us with four guns, boys. We only need two more trips to pack a punch. 
And this challenge is done. Well, actually, the challenge isn't done. It's just this map. And then, but then we've only got to play five and then get one gun there. Play Call of the Dead, get two guns there. Play Moon, get one gun there. And play Shangri-La and get one gun there. This is majority of the challenge, to be honest with you. Back into the teleporter. We've got two new guns here. Stakeout. Turns to the raid. The PM63. We've got the Tokyo and Rose. And we've got a dog round. So, we've got two guns left. The AK-74U and the MPL. We just need a little over 10,000 points. And then we will be good. Another scary room. I don't like it. All right, boys. 10,000 points. We've got the two guns we've needed. Here we go. Oh, my God. The MPL. Throw that in there. MPL becomes the MPLLF and the AK-74U. The AK-74FU2. And with that, we have pack-a-punched every single gun on Kino Dirtoten flawlessly on round 38. That take a tremendously long time. And honestly, with the challenge being done here, I'm just... Actually, no, I'll let them down me. I'll let them down me. I'll, I'll give them the honor of downing me. 38 rounds flawlessly every gun. That was the hard part. We still got to do Ascension. No, we don't have to do Ascension. We still got to do Call of the Dead, Shangri-La, Moon, get those other few guns and five. But uh, this was the hardest part. From here, it's smooth sailing. All right, here we are on five. We've only got one gun to do here. We've just got to get the five. Yeah, that's the map, not the gun. We've got to get the Winter's Howl and throw that in a pack a punch. And that is the only unique gun on five. So we only need one gun. So this should be a breeze. But I bought the M14 because I feel like I feel like staying in the spawn room for a little bit. I don't know why. I just want to get a bunch of points. And then when I run down there, just turn on the power, get jug, and then hopefully hit the box. All right, end of round four. We got one more kill with these double points. 6,700 points. We're going to head down here, head to the elevator, head on down, head down even more, go down. We have just enough. Well, actually, when we have to buy the elevator again. We have enough to turn on power and hit the, uh, not the box, but get Jug. Power is on. Oh, there we go. We got up without without the elevator, so we can run over here. Round four, we've got Jug. This is going well. Like I said, once Kino was done, this should absolutely be a breeze. I, I can see myself not going down the rest of this challenge, to be honest with you. Not even once. All right, let's see if we can find the box. It's not there. All right, I bought that door. It's not here, though. Here we go. All right, we got the box. We got enough for one hit. Give me the Winter's Howl right here and we'll be good. Nope. Definitely not it. He's so fucking fast. Jerk. I hate this guy. If you get a bad weapon, there's nothing you can do to stop him. Oh, I got him. Okay. Oh, we got a fire sale from it too. That's actually really good. Let me go and spam this box. Come on, Winter's Howl. We got the Ray Gun. But I want the Winter's Howl. Winter's Howl. That's cool, but we want the Winter's Howl. Can I hit it one more time? Nope. Okay, I mean, we got a Ray Gun and a Commando out of that, so I'm not complaining. But uh, we want the Winter's Howl. Come on, Winter's Howl. That's basically going to be the entire rest of me here. It's just Winter's Howl. Nope. Winter's Howl. Nope. Winter's Howl. Nope. All right, let's spin it again. Nope. Insta-kill is pretty good for us. Knife them. Get a lot of points here. Let's go. Nope. Nope. That's not it. All right, the box is back up at spawn. Maybe we can get the Winter's Howl here. I think I'll put them on ice. Round 10 and we got it. I'm... I don't even... I feel blessed. See, because I'm used to, you know, Kino. It took me to round 36 to get the gun I wanted. But here we are in round 11 and we have it. We're going to buy Speed Cola. Just play it safe, you know, secure our survival a little bit. All right, double points brought us to over 5,000. It's the end of the round. Let's hit these DEFCON levels. And I just bought a door unnecessarily, and now we are no longer at 5,000. But what do I know? Oh, God. This fucking guy. We need that commando back, sir. Thank you. It's getting a little sketchy up here, boys. Hit that one. Leave us alone. Oh, I forgot how fucking chaotic this map can be. 
Defcon 4. Holy shit. There's a lot of zombies. Oh, please buy this debris. Hit Defcon 5. Hit Pack a Punch. Take me. Throw in the Winter's Howl. Okay. Just let me grab it. Just let me grab it. And we are officially done on 5. This is the only unique gun on 5. So we're done here. It wouldn't be fun if I didn't get to shoot it a little bit. Even though it isn't that good. On early rounds it is, but... Even then, just, you know... Was never that good, to be honest with you. But that is the Winter's Howl done. That's 5 done. Let's just move on. Call of the Dead. Here is the only map we have left with two weapons. We have the VR-11, and we have the Scavenger to pack a punch here. All right, box is over this way, so we're just going to obviously head towards that way. Same with power. I'm going to secure the safety of our run here. I'm just going to buy the MPL as much as I don't want to. Okay, power is on. Oh, and the box is at right there. I just clearly missed it. Okay. In Call of the Dead fashion, a million doors later... We are at Jug. We don't have nearly enough to get it, but I'm definitely getting Jug before I'm even hitting the box. I definitely just got hit twice there and didn't go down, but I'm not complaining. Exactly enough for Jug. Oh, we better drink this fast. There we go. We got Jug. I feel better already. Now we're just going to hit the box. God damn it. I thought I could sneak past him. Calm down, bro. Hop in the water, buddy. Calm down. All right, we got three bullets. Better get a good gun and better get it quick. What do we got? The scavenger. That's one of the guns we need. First pull. But we also need ammo this second. So can I buy it? Nope. All right. Head back to spawn. Hit him with some grenades. We will be good. I don't want to shoot this scavenger without PhD, but... Oh, boy. Yep, it's got a wide blast radius, that's for sure. Let's shoot it. Maybe get 950 points. More than enough. Let's go hit the box again. All right, get this gun quick. Come on, good gun. Be quick. That's more than okay for right now. And so is the death machine. Let's go. All right, we're going to need to buy PHD if we're going to be running with this scavenger. All right, PHD is right here. We have to buy 8,000 doors to get there, but we're here. I'm going to take a little bit longer with this map. I'm going to take my time a little bit. Just uh, secure myself a little bit more. I'm going to buy stamina up right now. We're also going to buy PhD. And while I'm at it, we got to buy speed cola. Because who knows? There is that possibility we don't get that VR11 until very late into this. So let's just prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. We're going to take PhD as well, just so we can keep that scavenger and not kill ourselves with it. You know what? While we're at it with this LMG, I've got the points. Let's just go buy some speed cola as well. All right, Pack-a-Punch just spawned right where we're training. We've got the points. Let's just throw this scavenger right in the Pack-a-Punch. Take the Hyena Infra Dead. And all we've got left here is the VR-11. And we're on round 11, so I think we're doing good here. Looks like we got one zombie left. Let's go test our luck getting this VR-11. No VR-11 here. Oh, do I love the scavenger. Scavenger, I love you. You've got to be smart with the timing of when you shoot the bolt. But uh, besides that, it's a lovely little gun. We got a fire sale. I'm going to risk everything we have and try to get this VR-11. Well, we got the Spectre, and I'm probably only going to get to hit it one more time. Because I'm not trading out this RPK. Maybe not even one more time. Nope, we got to hit it once. That's not very fun. Couple more hits. And we got the AUG. All right, killing those two zombies gave us one more. VR-11, I saw you spin through there. Nope. And you gotta love PHD. That's gotta be the most fun way to kill zombies in all of zombies history. We got four box spins. I'm feeling good, though. That's good, but not the kind of good we need. Especially not that. Three more spins, let's get this. Galil, that's good, but not what we need. That's really not what we need. Come on. I'll take the RPK over the uh, Golil. I'm just nervous we're going to have another Kino Dertoten moment where I'm not getting this VR-11 until round 36. That's no good. You know, part of me wants to kill George. Let's go for it.
I've got 12 more scavenger bullets left, and he's, uh, he's still coming strong. Pause. There we go. Perk. Double tap. That's cool with me. At least we got a George free round now. 10k points. Three zombies left. We're testing our luck again. Nope. Definitely not. No more Jeopardy music like on Keynote or Toten. I promise, guys. I promise. And we got the box in the worst possible spot. HS10. Ballistic Knife. China Lake. Python. China Lake again. We've got one more spin. And a G11. Are we going to have a Kino, Kino Der Toten moment? I really hope not. Couple more box spins. Let's do it. Nope. At least it's out of this spot. All right. New box spot. New luck. The M72 law. Jesus. One last spin at the end of the round. Just let me see that VR11, baby. Nope. All right, well, I got lazy, I got complacent, and uh, time to restart. Time to get that scavenger again, time to get the perks again, time to try to find the VR11 again. Let's get to it. Take two, boys. All right, get this VR11 in there. Take it, please. Thank you, the VR11 Lazarus. Round nine, and we're, we're halfway done with Call of the Dead. We just need the scavenger. All right, now imagine I just get the scavenger right here. Imagine that. I'm not that lucky. Oh my God, I got it. Oh my God, I got it. Oh my God, I got it. Now let's not lose it. Oh, we got it, boys. Okay. that That's the hardest part, in my opinion, was just getting it. We've just got to pack a punch it, and then we're off this map. Let's get some PhD so we are safe with this scavenger. All right, pack punch is right here. We just got to throw the scavenger in here, and we're good. As long as we just don't get ambushed, I think we're good. Take it, and we are officially, even if I die right now, we did the challenge. We've got both of the guns here on Call of the Dead. Pack a punched. We are good to go. There we go, boys. Call of the Dead is done. We've got Shangri-La and Moon. One gun on each. All right, boys, here we are on Shangri-La. Now, I've been watching a lot of zombies videos lately, and multiple different creators have said that the, the JG36 LMNOP QRS, whatever the, whatever the baby gun is technically called, it's out of the Wonder Weapon box, the Wonder Weapon box, the Mystery box. It's, it's from there, but people have said it's the hardest Wonder Weapon to get. They feel like, I don't know if this is statistically true, but they're saying it's like the lowest probability Wonder Weapon to get. I don't know if the game works like that or if that's true. I really hope not, because I would love to just get done with this map by round 15, and then all we have left is Moon. One more gun. I'm drinking a Celsius, you know. Best energy drink out there on the market, so I should be able to do this. All right, box is over this way, so let's go this way, and hope Jug is also here. Which it is. That's awesome. All right, give me the baby gun first try, and I'll donate $100 to charity. It's all up to you, Treyarch. Nope. Sorry, Charity. You're shit out of luck today. All right. Let's get Jug. Obviously, you need Jug. And now, let's get that baby gun. I don't want to waste time on this map. Just because this is, like, one of the hardest. I think this is probably the hardest. At least second hardest. Five and Shangri-La are probably the two hardest Black Ops 1 maps. But I'd say this one's harder, to be honest. No Wonder Weapon here. I'm trying not to include every box hit for you guys. Because I'm sure that's getting a little bit repetitive. But we used the whole box up there, and it wasn't there. I'm kind of gambling with how I'm taking this approach is I'm not setting up. I'm not getting any perks besides Jug. I'm just spamming every point I get into the box and hoping we get it early rather than uh, preparing for it to not come early, which is probably not smart, but I am a gambling man and I'm not doing well so far. Oh my God, we got it. Oh baby, we got it. Perfect. Actually, let me hit this one more time. I, I want a better weapon than the AUG. Uh, let me through, bro. Wow, we got on round nine. Okay. We cannot fumble now, boys. What do we got? The FNFAL? Sure, whatever. I don't know how good of an idea that was, but... <laughs> Dear Jesus, help me. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's start playing a little smart, huh? 
Let's start playing a little bit smarter. I really thought that was it, and I was going to be very, very upset. Okay, this is what gets us to pack a punch. Pack a punch is right there. I've got 4,400 points. We just need to survive this round, stand on that pressure plate, and pack a punch. That's all. That's all. On round 10? This is us. 1,000% this is us. Okay, we've got the points, but I'm going to be smart and not do it in the middle of a round. I'll do it at the end of this round. How can you not love this gun? This gun is so insanely fun. All right, we got a nuke. We're going to take that. Stand on this pressure plate. End of the round. Stairs are going up. Stairs are going up. Gun in the pack-a-punch. And... And... The fractalizer. It is ours, boys. We can get off of this map. All right. I'll let him down me. I just love shooting this thing. It's so fun. Look at the little baby zombies. All right. We have one gun left on one map. We got to head over to Moon, get the wave gun, pack a punch it, and we're done. All right, boys. We're on Moon. We got Jug. Let's get enough points to get Jug before we uh, introduce ourselves here. Okay. 3,000 points. Drink Jug. Teleport. Don't die. We're good, boys. Why did, does the astronaut usually spawn in on round one? I feel like that's that's weird. All right, power on. All right, boys, we found the box. We don't have enough to hit it, but we found it. All right, one box spin. Is that all it's going to take for the wave gun? I saw it. I'm not that lucky. Oh, my. I thought that was it. I really thought I had it for a second. See, I miss playing this game on the Xbox 360 because I don't know what it is about Steam. But uh, on Steam, I don't have it ever pop up with my friends' names. On the Xbox 360, in the golden days of gaming, the astronaut would always have a little name matching one of your uh, friends' gamer tags. Shooting the box always works for the gun you want. We have the wave gun. On round seven, we got the gun we need. We've just got to throw it in the pack-a-punch. This is crazy, boys. You know, not to sound entitled or anything, but I feel like we deserve this after all the struggle we've been through. Now we've just got to get 5,000 points. That's it. Man, Moon is just so fun to dolphin dive with the gravity. This video really reminded me, even more so than my Road to Round 30 series, how fun Black Ops 1 Zombie was. The grammar on that sentence was <laughs> out the window there. <laughs> there we go. This double points just brought us to 5,000 points. I guess there's no reason to wait, right? Let's just go for it. Okay. Hey. There's Pack-A-Punch. Now, thankfully, this will definitely help us if there's even any zombies ambushing us right now. Doesn't look like it. Looks like we're going to get this off pretty easy. And, ah, uh, just like that, boys, we have upgraded every single gun on Black Ops 1. And does it feel good, let me tell you. Let's let's use our wave gun in celebration. You know, let, let's go out like warriors. Let's see how long we can survive here. Okay, I feel like I'm going to survive here forever. So, let's let a zombie down us. And with that, every gun on Black Ops 1 has been pack-a-punched. Now, if you guys are sick and you enjoy the mental torment this challenge put me through, and you loved it, Show some love on the video, and I will do this on Black Ops 2. But you got to show some love on this video. This was a challenge, but it was fun to get through. I really enjoyed this, and I would probably enjoy doing this on Black Ops 2 as well. But a uh, long video, long journey we just went through. I hope you guys enjoyed If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube junk. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.